Hi everybody, I'm Ukulele Jay. Today, I am cooking something so big, I've got to start prepping it in the garage. I'm talking about Mangalitsa. And I'm not talking about just the pig, I'm talking about the pig head. This baby weighed in at 275 pounds hanging weight, had it butchered just this week, picked it up, and today I'm doing something that's going to be so incredible. Gordon Ramsay's going to be F-bombing all over this mother, you know what I'm talking about. We're going to weigh it on the scale. But don't tell my wife. She'll see this afterwards, but I, I had to steal her scale out of the bathroom because it's too big to weigh on the kitchen scale. But you gotta you got check this out. Hold on, here it comes, ready? Get it out of the refrigerator. Here's this head. This thing's huge, man. Look at this. I'm gonna put the scale on it. Hold on. Oh, here we go. And, and don't don't worry, I've got uh, I've got Saran Wrap on here. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Wow. 22.4 pounds. Man, I, this is going to take a lot longer than I think to smoke. But uh, stay tuned because you're not going to want to miss this smoke. Smoking Suli Somalia is Ukulele, Ukulele J. This is the Mangalitsa, also known as the Kobe beef of the pork world, weighing in at 275 pounds, hanging weight with a head of 22.4 pounds. This porker is going to be delicious. Here we are getting ready to make our injection. Today we're using Dr. Bill's cane of maple syrup, Italian red wine vinegar, apple cider vinegar, and the Anjou hair vinegar. Hey everybody, now it's time for some bovine Botox. And today I am doing the most exciting smoke of my lifetime. I mean, this is incredible. Two huge things are going on today. First thing is I'm smoking the biggest Mangalitsa pig head I have ever seen in my life. I've seen pig heads, I've eaten pig head, but I've never seen a monster pig head. And this thing's monstrous, weighing in at 22.4 pounds. But the other big thing is, I have got the secret stash, the plum pellets. Now I know you guys haven't seen plum pellets before. Love Nottywood barbecue. It's the crack of dawn. I am out here in my backyard, I gotta be careful, gotta be quiet. Don't want the neighbors yelling at me. You got too much smoke. So we're gonna take the 100% plum and we're gonna use that to smoke our mangalitsa. little suntan protection. Okay, we're gonna start our timer. Start our timer and see how long it's gonna take today. Here we go. Now I know people are gonna ask me, what does it smell like? So, here we go. It's, it's uh, smoke. No, it actually smells really good. This wood smells fantastic. This one has an aroma that's not nutty, it's more on the really mellow side. But I gotta tell you, it is really generating some beautiful smoke in the firebox in this yoder. And I am really excited to see how this pig comes out.
Okay, so we're gonna use our thermal pen here and I'm gonna check and confirm what my other temperature probe said, which isn't quite as accurate as this, but we're gonna give it a shot. Oh, that, that's done. <laughs> that's done. I'm gonna look at it at 190 plus. It just shows you you can't trust some of the other thermometers. We are eating, folks. And tonight for the dipping sauce, I used a little bit of Dr. Bill's candy maple syrup and my newest sponsor, Dat Sauce out of New Louisiana. Incredible sauce with Dat Sauce and Dat Ketchup. You gotta check it out. And here we go, absolutely scintillating. We have the incredible pork that was injected with Dr. Bill's skin and maple syrup that was thinned down with those incredible vinegars. We've got our sweet potato with our whipped butter using Dr. Bill's skin and maple syrup for a sweet butter and that sweet potato, fantastic combination. And we've got the UJWP salad, including some sourdough French bread with some salted butter. This was a fantastic meal. But wait, it's time to eat more. It's a great meal without a great dessert incredible pumpkin macaron we have some nice biscotti with some oatmeal dark chocolate chip cookies well there you have it, everybody that is the mangalitsa pig head i will tell you that uh, it was an interesting smoke and here's kind of the things that i learned knotty wood plum pellets are fantastic great blue smoke really nice and mild the thing that was important about the mangalitsa is i did not want to mask it with any type of really heavy smoke i wanted the meat to really come out I used a rub on the back end. I injected it with a uh, injection of Dr. Bill's candy maple syrup, some red wine vinegar, some Anjou pear vinegar, and some apple cider vinegar. And that made those jowls inside just incredible. It was almost like eating bone marrow with the fat that was you know, breaking down inside the jowls along with the jowl meat. And that's what Mangalitsa is about. It's about the fat. The meat's incredible, but the fat is also amazing. The other thing that was great I received an incredible shipment of Dat ketchup from Dat Sauce in Louisiana. And I made a really incredible dip for my pork. I made my sauce was with four parts of Dat ketchup, one and a half parts of Dat Sauce, and a half a part of Dr. Bill's can of maple syrup. Nice hint of sweet, spicy little bite on the back end with that Dat ketchup, which was really amazing. If you haven't tried that, you gotta try it. And everybody's right that I've talked to when they said, can't really explain it, you just have to taste it. So hats off to that sauce for uh, making an incredible sauce for the barbecue tonight. Thanks for watching, and I hope you get to see us again doing another set of Mangalista, because I have a whole pig out there in the garage. See you soon.